Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanek, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Heading into the weekend, today is Friday, the very last day of September 2011. Here are today's top stories. Seth Gordon just signed a two-year overall deal with Sony Pictures Television, and among other things, Gordon's new deal will have him develop new projects for Sony Pictures Television. Chris Carter is coming back to television with a police mystery thriller titled Unique, sporting a female character as the lead. Unique will have a supernatural focus, and Carter will write and serve as executive producer. NBC OK to Project from Universal Cable Productions from Nicholas Falacci and Cheryl Hewton, based on the short story When the Women Come Out to Dance by Elmore Leonard per THR. NBC's project is about a Colombian mail-order bride who arrives in Miami and struggles to move on from her past. ABC picked up a drama titled Turner Loose from ABC Studios about a character Bobby Turner, a disgraced Wall Street banker in prison who becomes a lawyer for his fellow inmates. The CW's Nikita promoted Dylan Casey from a recurring cast member to a series regular. Casey's character was introduced in the season 2 premiere episode. Docuseries I Used to Be Fat is back on MTV with a new season starting October 11th at 10 p.m. I Used to Be Fat documents teenagers who desperately want to lose weight the summer before they begin college. Also from MTV, the recent season debut of The Real World San Diego posted the best season premiere in five editions of The Real World. The opening episode delivered close to 2 million total viewers. Tombola debuts on Telefutura Network beginning October 10th at 5 p.m. Tombola is hosted by a quintet including Marisa De Portillo, Tanya Cherry, and Carolina Sandoval, along with actor model Andre Garcia Jr. and actress TV host Alexandra Rodriguez. A new reality show is set to feature the grandchildren of former South African President Nelson Mandela. The proposed program will center on Mandela's granddaughters. All three were raised in the U.S. and have now returned to South Africa to be near family and their business affairs. Next Monday, Trace MTV Musica y Mas debuts a new daily scripted series, Popland, at 6 p.m., centering on Carla Saracobo and her rise from small-town girl to job in the big city, working for the hottest celebrity gossip fan site at popland.us. Popland airs Monday through Friday at 6 p.m. Speed handed orders to three new lifestyle series. Pumped is billed as an ambush-style quiz set at gas stations and premieres in November. Hard Parts, South Bronx, is about a business owner and his team as they search for rear auto parts. Whipped is a game show where contestants test their driving skills on an extreme obstacle course. And Speed further gave My Ride Rules an additional 13 episodes for the show's first season. The network also gave second season renewal orders to three series, Dumbest Stuff on Wheels, Car Warriors, and Stunt Busters. And some pre-MIPCOM 2011 news, rights management company, Target Entertainment, and Back to Back Productions are continuing their relationship by co-producing the docuseries The Changing Face Of, with nine one-hour episodes. The series delves into the images and wardrobes over time of some of the biggest stars. And last up, Off the Fence forged a deal with Sundance Selects IFC Films, the film distribution unit of AMC Networks, Inc. The deal allows Off the Fence to distribute 140 titles from Sundance Select slash IFC Films catalog to territories globally, excluding the U.S. Hi, I'm John Cox, and it was only the second episode of Two Broke Girls, but you could already see the boredom crossing Kat Denning's face as she had to recite one hack line after another. In the premiere episode of Two Broke Girls, Kat Denning's presence was the only reason to watch this tired old comedy, but even now that has diminished. This show is so poorly conceived, it's as if they had a checklist of all the bad comedies ever and threw them into one show. Oversex character? Check. African American who has no real purpose on the show? Check. Naive but sweet blonde who doesn't know anything about real life? Check. Overly polite Asian that's borderline offensive? Check, check. And of course, our star, a streetwise, smart mouth character with a heart of gold. Check. 
One of the creators of the show, Whitney Cummings, whose claim to fame before this year was being a funny and gutsy member of the Rose Crew, has demonstrated the Peter Principle times two. The writing on Two Broke Girls and on Whitney are reminiscent of that 2009 disaster, Hank. Every cast member on the show deserves better than what they got, especially the immensely talented, and yet rightfully so, bored Kat Dennings. I'm John Cox, and that's just my own opinion. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend. That's a wrap for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and remember to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanek. I'm going to have a good day. If I make it myself, I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.